What's going on folks? Want to take some time today to talk about spiral wrapped rods. I know that's a big deal in fishing nowadays, especially out in the ocean salt water. I'm gonna tell you about mine. It's more of a lighter setup. Uh, I'm gonna jump right into it. I use a Tsunami Trophy Series 15 to 30 pound line rated rod, lure rate 30 to 120 grams. And just for reference real quick, this is a this is a 20 gram jig and I also got a 80 gram jig right here. So depending on what I'm doing, here's an 80 for reference. All right. And then here's the little 20 gram that I use. So I can go all the way up to 120 grams with this rod. And it seems flimsy the first time you get it in your hand. So there's a difference. 20, 80. The most I use is 80. But more about the rod and reel setup I use for this. The spiral wrap rod, it is different the first time you use it, but it's not bad. I think I see a lot of people asking questions online in the forums. What should I get and this and this. I look at it like this. Get your spiral wrap rod just like you would get any other rod. Look at the line rating, medium heavy, heavy, extra heavy medium light and just think about what you're going to be doing i know a lot of guys like to play skinner and fight everything on two pound tests but this rod will help you do it the what rod the reel that i got this matched with is i'm gonna call it my custom lexa 100 i was going to sell this reel because i didn't have a use for it i bought it to throw alabama rigs i upgraded to the 300 then i had the 100 laying around when i used to fish uh, for a largemouth bass You'll see it's got an oversized handle. I took a handle off of a Seagate 30 <laughs> and put it on my Lexa 100. And the reason for that, when I'm offshore and I'm in 95, 110 feet of water and I got Mr. Seabass down there, I just needed something to get a little more leverage to get on him. But more about the rod, you see a 6.6. Six. You've probably been looking at these online, probably Jan H, get one. You know, this rod was I think 130 bucks plus a little more for shipping. I'm a bigger guy. I kind of got the camera pointed the way I like it. I'm a bigger guy, so the reason I like this rod when I'm jigging, the reason I got this low profile reel and not an Avid, I can feel so much more because I can palm, I can palm the setup. You know, I got my hand around the rod and the reel. So when I'm jigging near shore, offshore, wherever I'm at, wherever I'm at, I can, I got a good feel of that small jig. You know, it's, it's 20 grams, that's not a lot of weight. So I use 15 pound braid. This is the uh, Yozuri braid, super tight weave, doesn't absorb a lot of water. And I got a Alberto knot to a couple, three feet of 20 pound fluorocarbon. Now that may seem light, but the way you're gonna fish this rod and this reel, you don't need to be fighting jaws. So when I'm, like I said, when I'm offshore, sea bass, porgy, flounder, any of those near shore New Jersey species. When I'm out on the pier, different ball game. I'm going for porgy, but if a big striper or a big bluefish hits this, I can manage them up until I can get the net. You'll see here, I hope it shows up on camera. There's a slick spot for me jigging so much throughout last season. What, I'm, what I like to do when I'm jigging, and this is why I like having this style of conventional reel versus like I say, a big round Avid. I'm not going for trophy stripers. I'm going for striped bass, flounder, and porgy. I don't need a whole lot of, I don't need a whole lot of reel for that. This rod, this reel's got like 15 pounds of drag, but I've never been outgunned on it. But the reason, uh, the reason I like it also, it's fast. But like they say, speed kills. We were on a wreck one day. The, uh, oh man, it was, it was right off the Manasquan Ridge. There's a wreck out there. I forgot the name of it. It starts with an M. But we were getting Keeper Flounder, but I lost like six in a row and I couldn't figure out why. And what it was, my reel, I'm using a seven gear ratio reel in 90 something feet of water. So when I'm down there jigging, and this is using my jigging stance, I'm jigging. Boom, set the hook and I start cranking down on that 19, 20 inch flounder. I'm taking up so much line, I'm just pulling the hook. 
So my next investment, I'll probably get a new pin squall and uh, replace the Lex. And I'll probably try to find a five ratio if I can find it. But back to the ride. Uh, you wonder, okay, well, it's a six, six, well, you know, what's the action like? We'll see if we can catch that on camera for anyone that's wondering. So, I mean, it's got some, it's got some bend. It's got some bend to it. But like I say, good entry level rod. If you're looking about getting, in, if you're looking into getting in the spot or rap game, Tsunami's a good start. Budget friendly, and I've put this rod through hell. Uh, the biggest fish that I've landed on it was a 24 inch striped bass. I was jigging, 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 and it just boom. It was headed to Sandy Hook, and I'm just letting him, letting him run. My buddy was, he was out of the way. He came. I was like, what's, what's up, man? I was like, yo, man, I got a monster. And you know, I'm saying a monster. I know 24 inch straight bass, fluke skipper, that's not a monster. But when you're using 15 and 20 and a 20 gram jig from China that you don't know the quality control on, that's a pretty big feat. So I landed the fish and just to date that that was the uh, biggest fish. But big takeaways from the video, if you're still watching, thank you. Don't overthink getting your spiral wrap rod. Figure out what you want to do. You got to go vertical. You know, you got your own boat, you're going on the party boat. Uh, guys in New Jersey for sure this this is all you need you can go up to a heavy on a party boat if you want to flip them over the rail and not have to worry about the net but for the most part if you got your own boat you're hitting the uh, local reefs or whatever this this is all you need and like I said a lot of people if you don't agree with this reel on this rod comment below but the reason is I can palm this so comfortably and I got total control over my jig I've tried to replicate this on a spinning setup and it just don't work. The spinning reel, you know, it's down. I'm not, it's not as oh man, intimate. You know, that's a big word to use fishing, but it, the, the connection is just not there in my hand when I'm down there jigging it, you know? I don't, I don't, I don't it's too much going on, you know, from the, the foot of the reel, the, the bail, it's too much. With this, I can feel it. And when I'm when I'm porgy fishing out there on the pier, I want to keep my I want my jig to just be bouncing in the sand so they come look at it, boom, they come get it, and then boom, you're having a fish fry. Well, if you made it this far, thank you. If you got questions about the rod, the reel, the line I'm using, just leave a comment below. I'll get back to you. In the meanwhile, tight lines, keep fishing.